Hi, I'm Steve Fulgoni and we're in my wood turning shop today. And today we're going to take a look at mounting a large walnut bowl on the Hurricane HTC 125 chuck with the new 6.5 inch dovetail jaws. Let's mount this onto the, uh, the lathe. 6.5 inch jaws on this Hurricane chuck are bigger than just about any other jaw set that I've seen on the market today. For example, this is a Vicmark VM120, probably familiar with that chuck, it's a 5 inch chuck, and that's how that sits in to the Hurricane Jaws. So we're here, you know there's a rule in wood turning that you want to try and keep your foot to about 40% of the diameter of your piece. Well, if you're going to turn a large piece, 16, 18, 20, 24 inches, there's no way that a 4 inch or 5 inch chuck jaws will work. So, I have an uh, 18 inch walnut bulb blank here, and I have a foot which is just under six inches. So we're going to mount that up in the hurricane jaws. Remember, it's very important that you make a flat foot. And that your chuck jaws sit exactly on the flat Okay, so there we go. Let me get this started on the lathe here. First, let's take a quick look at the uh, let's take a quick look at the tool rest that we're using. This is a robust comfort tool rest. What I really like about this is, of course, the hardened um, hardened bar on the top, which will never nick, never get nicked. Uh, also, for my hand, especially on this leveling cut that we're going to do here, it provides a really nice surface to get in and level. Level the piece. I'm starting off with uh, with the tailstock in place, just because we have a little bit of unevenness here. Bring my speed down. Again, normally I would use a face shield. Just get this started. Of course, with the robust, I can move the uh, speed control over to this side.
tool list, uh, the uh, tailstock out of the way. Boy, that's easy. I'm going to switch over to the uh, 15 inch robust comfort rest. Get in nice and close. Again, my speed controls on this side. With a 15 inch rest, I can just let my hand glide, palm of my hand gliding from here all the way across. Okay, so I'm just taking a leveling cut. Get in there. Even on this 18 inch bowl, where I turned the outside yesterday and it's gone just a little bit out of ground. So it's a smooth as silk on this robot.
Okay, I'm going to switch. The, the uh, shavings coming off here are pretty hot. I'm going to switch, put on my golf glove. Gives me a little protection from the heat of the chips. one inch in. Let's keep going. for about a year. here has a 70, about a 70 degree angle on the tip, which is going to do a much better job of getting across the bottom of this Continuing to use this gouge here with the 70-75 degree uh, front bevel angle, which does a really nice job on the bottom of this bowl where I'm essentially kind of cross right into end grain.
Okay, I think it too now needs to be sharpened. Okay, so I'm back with the freshly sharpened set of gouges. Just taking a look here. I'm leaving about oh inch, inch and a quarter of wall thickness, and I've gone in about two inches. I'm going to continue, come a little bit more, maybe another inch or so, coming across the bottom, leaving my wall thickness fairly thick. I'm going to rough turn this ball, give it a month or two to dry out. <laughs> Turn my speed up just a little bit when I'm in the center. Of course, I'm being careful about the stability of the piece, but with this robust, that's not a problem. My hands are way back, completely behind the tool rest. As I get to the outside of the bowl, I'll slow the speed down because the linear speed where I'm cutting will start to get bowl now, 18 inches in diameter. I've come down about three and a half inches and uh, I've been using my robust tool rest, 15 inch comfort rest. Now I'm going to switch over to the interior rest, interior curved rest. And look at what a difference that makes. I don't know if you can see that. But before with the straight rest, I was you know, an inch or two away from the surface of the bowl. Now with this curved rest, I am within half an inch or so along the entire interior. Okay, so let's, uh, let's keep going here.
I'm here on my robust American Beauty with this 18 inch walnut bowl. Um, I've hollowed in about four inches or so and I've just switched over from the straight tool rest to the robust curved interior rest. And you can see I can bring that right in there, right up in there close and I have probably maybe half an inch. That's it, half an inch of space across the entire interior of the bowl. Much, much better, much, much better than uh, a straight tool rest. Let's give it a look. That curved tool rest just made that, made that cut a pleasure. Okay, so I'm here with this 18 inch bowl. I'm down about four inches or so, and I'm just at the process of going through the bottom, trying to get deeper and deeper into the bottom of this bowl. I have a, a bowl gouge with about a 60, oh, 75 degree front angle, and that's going to do a really nice job of allowing me to maintain the bevel as we come across the bottom of this bowl. What I have here is my robust, my robust. 12-inch uh, interior curved rest, which as you can see is allowing me to get right in to the interior of this bowl. So I'll have almost no overhang, maybe half an inch as we come across. Let's fire it up. Hurricane down the 75 degree front angle combined with this robust tool rest makes the interior of this bowl just a pleasure. Really nice. Let's keep going. I'm about a foot deep in shavings here. degree angle of this tool the 75 degree angle of this tool allows me to hold it this way where I can still rub the bevel up in front but the force goes down into the tool rest rather than out at me 
going to get my tool rest in a little bit closer. I mean, that's just, that's just unbelievable the way this robust tool rest hugs the inside of this bowl. Okay, I switched to a tool now, which has a 65 degree front angle. I'm going to come back out, and try and take off a little bit more material. Even, even wall thickness of about an inch coming down the side. Again, this was just roughly to pull out right now. Not too thin that we're going to go through, just too thin, too little too thin for this, for this roughing stage. Back to the 75 degree angle for coming across the bottom.
tool, tool rest in is a little bit closer. That's about all we can go. Okay. Okay, so I've just sharpened up the gouge. Right now I'm using the 65 degree tool. Okay, you can see it there, 65 degrees in the front with a uh, either straight or convex fluke. What I'm going to try and do now is just take a really light uh, cut right across here just to finish this up. And this bowl will be ready to put on the shelf. Sometimes I hold the tool a little differently than I normally would. But that is doing with the camera. I would have held that like that, but hopefully you got a good look. Okay, a little tear out there, but again, this is just a rough stage, so we are ready to take this off. <coughs>
So there it is. Eighteen inch ball roughed out. Eighteen inch ball roughed out on the Hurricane Jaws. The big Hurricane uh, Dovetail Jaws. <coughs> Walnut. Thanks for watching.